Hello traders, Mark P. Markets here. My name is Mark Principato and I'm a Chartered Market Technician and thank you for joining me for another exclusive Bitcoin video analysis here for FX Empire. So in this session I want to talk about the recent price, in, price action in Bitcoin and where we are anticipating this thing in terms of support and resistance over the next few days. So with that being said, let's get started. This is for educational purposes only. For investment advice, please consult a licensed investment advisor. Also, if you'd like to know more about our swing trade signal service, check out greenbridgeinvesting.com. We offer swing trade signals by text, by email, also portfolio management ideas by email. And we have a chat room where we share insight and perspective each day. We have a seven day free trial. So come on by, say hello, check it out, see what you think. Also, we have a free chat room as well, so you can also ask questions in there, and we'd be happy to answer them. We have a free trade of the week that we send out every week to all our members, whether you're free or not, and you can check those out also. Check it out, greenbridgeinvesting.com. Okay, now, off the Bitcoin. We saw this remarkable move that has been taking place now for the entire month of December. We had two swing trades. There were six setups, okay? We had a swing trade here where we made an average of 2,000 points and we had a swing trade here where we made another average of 2,000 points. We took a third trade that actually got stopped out in this little pullback here, but okay, whatever. So that's it's, it's been a decent month. Now the question is, how much further can Bitcoin go without pulling back? Now this thing, this, these type of moves are unusual and this vertical, the, the rate of change at this point is not sustainable. It can't continue like this, uh, you know, much longer. That's just, that's just the way markets work, okay? Where will this thing turn? It's tough to say. Price action is still very strong, but here's the thing you have to keep in mind, the resistance levels, all right? We have the 27.5, which was a projection point, which price has reacted to somewhat back here on that pin bar. In fact, we exited a swing trade based on that pin bar. So we got out a little early. What are we going to do? Then we have 32.5, which I mean, it's possible that it can reach up there, but you have to keep something else in mind. The 30K level is a significant psychological resistance. So here's what you have to look at if you're thinking about taking a swing trade. I mean, forget about investing. These are very risky levels to invest uh, to begin with. You want to buy a support, if anything, for long term. But for short term, like swing trades, here's the thing. You have to look at the reward risk. Now, at this point, if you bought Bitcoin on this breakout, OK, let's say you bought it at like 29 or, or 28 something. And you have to ask yourself, what is the risk that you're taking in this situation? Well, you have to look at the nearest support. Where do you think that is? It's not 27 half. It's 24. OK, so from the current price of 28, 8, 24 is basically what over 4000 points of risk. If this thing pulls back, that's your first reasonable structural support. Can it find support sooner? It's possible, but we don't know until it proves itself. So right now we have to basically gauge our risk from this 24 K level. Now you're risking about 4000 points to hopefully make maybe a thousand or two. If it can touch 32 and a half, maybe, maybe, you know, 3000 points, maybe. Right. And that that's really pushing it. So the reward risk, obviously, that's less than one to one. It doesn't make sense. So in these type of situations, do you buy it even though it's breaking out? Unless it's a day trade, it's not worth the risk. So what do we do in the situation? We sit back and we wait. OK, we need to see a pullback and that pullback will come. Markets don't move in straight lines. They do pull back. Keep in mind, this is holiday froth, most likely, where everyone is just very speculative and they're just buying it and buying it, and buying it. These are not, these buyers that are now in there, they will become part of the potential selling pressure when this thing finds that top and they all start getting out at the same time. OK, it keeps luring more and more longs and it will come. So you just have to be patient, wait for that support, wait for that retrace. And that is where the high probability opportunity will be where it is right now. These are not what high probability opportunities look like. OK, 
So I will leave you with that. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. You can follow the link in the text portion of this analysis, or you can go to greenbridgeinvesting.com, come to our free chat room, and say hello there. My name is Mark P. Markets. Thank you again for watching.